Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. Um, so today, let's have a look at the uh, limited time uh, event quest uh, for, um, I think it's ADWs? Uh, anyway, it's a Yeti and it's a Jiraiya together as one character. And uh, yeah, the event is almost over, but I figured if I got it out uh, by the uh, last weekend, uh, that would work, so here it is. Alright, the gimmicks are uh, mines and uh, gravity barriers. And um, there are a lot of um, reviving as well. There is a lot of reviving as well, so we'll watch out for that. And then uh, all of the mines, they have a very short lifespan, so we need to be very uh, proactive about uh, picking up those mines. Alright, the uh, team that I'm using is, uh, first is uh, Marishten, he's got uh, Minesweeper and uh, Recovery S. And then uh, he also has a... Um, Strike shot that charges up quickly and um, can do a lot of damage. So hopefully we'll uh, make that happen. <clears throat> uh, next up is uh, Bastet. Uh, she has Minesweeper. Um, she also has a uh, strike shot that charges up quickly and does a lot of damage. Uh, next is uh, Amaksa Shiro. Um, she is the one character I have that uh, has uh, no gravity barrier. So she's going to be kind of in charge of taking out the uh, guys with gravity barriers around them. Um, she also has Minesweeper, and then a uh, strong strike shot. And then uh, finally, I'm using uh, Harley. Uh, she has a uh, Minesweeper. I think it's L, M or L. And then um, one of the strongest strike shots in the game. Um, if we can um, get it so that um, it's uh, supposed to target uh, the boss's weak points. So if we can get in the weak point, then uh, we're in business. Alright, so on this stage, uh, of course, we want to uh, take down the zombies um, because they revive the, uh, the mine robots. And uh, yeah, as we take down the zombies, we want to take down the mine robots as well uh, since they have a short um, uh, turn count, uh, which shoot out mines, which also have a short turn count, so yeah. We want to be taking down the mech robots every turn, basically. Okay, and then uh, these uh, night guys are not uh, so bad, but um, of course we should try to take them out too. And uh, yeah, I've been using a Harley a lot lately. Um, mines have really come to the fore lately, um, and I'm very happy about that. Uh, Harley is one of my favorite characters, so... Okay, that'll do it for that stage. Turtles. All right. Um, so yeah, as for the uh, the character itself, um, ADWs as a character, I don't know if it's uh, if I would super highly recommend it. Um, it's just a light element bounce, uh, null damage wall. Uh, one version has the uh, the recovery S, uh, which I don't like because that gauge is super duper fast. Um, yeah, there are other uh, light element uh, null damage wall guys uh, that are easier to make and maybe more useful, so I would recommend them. Okay, so we want to get rid of the, uh, the homing absorbers uh, first. Uh, one, because they have the, uh, the gravity barrier around them. Uh, two, because they don't revive, so once we take them down once, they're gone. And then uh, the boss here is the one who will revive the, uh, the mine robots, so we'll try to take them out quickly. Okay, boss moves, uh, revives the mine robots, and mines get thrown out. So yeah, that's pretty much the pattern. Uh, one or a few more things about Harley. Um, she has the uh, element advantage on the boss, being a dark element. Um, she also has a Demihume Slayer M, uh, which means she does double damage against the boss. Um, and so, element advantage plus Demihume Slayer plus a mine plus her strike shot uh, means that she has the uh, strongest strike shot uh, for this bo uh, mission. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can make it work. <clears throat> All 
Alright, there's a Mani Sten's laser, pretty darn strong. And of course, if all of our guys are out of range of the uh, the mines, then we don't need to really worry about picking them up, so... Okay, very good. Uh, so next is the uh, the second boss stage, and for a lot of people, this is the most difficult stage uh, because the uh, the bottom gets really littered with mines, and mines are what are gonna take away the most from you. Uh, so first, I like to get rid of the uh, homing absorber down there. And then maybe use uh, some strike shots against the boss. And of course we'll take down some mines, um, some mine robots as we go. I think I was debating using the strike shot here or not. Decided not to. Okay, not great, but it puts us in good position for next turn. And then here we will use a uh, Marish 10 strike shot. Um, it does not negate the uh, gravity barrier, but since he's already inside of it, uh, we can get a few hits in. Okay, we'll try to pick up some mines, uh, prevent some uh, damage from us. Alright, perfect. <clears throat> Alright, and then I'll use a Maxa Shiro to pick up mines and also take down the boss. Alright, so I saved myself uh, maybe a lot of damage there. Alright, and we're clear of the stage. Alright, uh, last stage. Um, again, we want to get rid of the uh, guys with the uh, gravity barriers around them um, so that we can, you know, create um, more space for our guys to move. And uh, we'll use Makusashiro's uh, Strike Shot to hopefully take care of some of the homing absorber guys. Not quite, but good. A little bit of, uh, what do you call it? Uh, oh, never mind. Alright, let's have a look at um, Harley's Strike Shot. Ooh! <laughs> 3.7, that's crazy. Yeah, so again, that is with the element advantage, the weak point, um, and um, the demi-hume slayer. I don't know if the mine damage got into there, um, but either way, very, very big damage. Okay, so that was uh, null damage walls, and uh, yeah, hopefully that was helpful. We'll see you again. Take care.